So the theme for today is heart. In this case, we heart Florida. Yesterday, we were unhappy because the Senate had failed to muster the votes necessary to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. But today is a new day and a really good day because after 33 years, the Florida ban on gay and lesbian individuals, also including bisexual and transgender individuals, undoubtedly, and couples adopting is history. Our colleagues at the ACLU were successful in a case, and the appellate court has struck down this very long-standing insult to our community and to our families. And Governor Charlie Crist has said he will no longer enforce this ban. This is a really good day. This legislation has been a part of the Florida law for 33 years, as long as NCLR has been in existence, has done untold damage to families and to children. Brought to us by that homophobic stinker, Anita Bryant. But now it's gone. You can read all about it on NCLR's website. This is our press release, just going out today. NCLR, for three decades, has been actively litigating a number of cases in Florida Florida has been a particularly difficult state, largely because of this adoption ban. We've won some key custody cases. We've lost some. Our most recent victory was on behalf of our client, Laura Embry, whose adoption from another state was recognized in Florida, a case cited by the Florida Appellate Court when they struck down this ban. We have seen the damage done to individuals, to couples, and mostly to children languishing in foster care because they can't be legally adopted by a loving parent because of that parent's sexual orientation. Shameful. So, today, we heart Florida and Florida hearts kids. And you know, maybe it's just really not heart, maybe it's, maybe it's love. Finally, our families are able to love fully and with legal recognition in the state of Florida. It's a good day.